Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use SwiftKey keyboard on Android. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you start using SwiftKey keyboard on your Android device here? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is you need to look for SwiftKey keyboard on a Google Play Store. So in this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store here, and you want to search for Microsoft Swift, Swift Key here. Now look for Microsoft Swift, uh, Swift Key here, go ahead and open it up, and you want to click on the install button. Now in this case, make sure the release or the actual app is from the Swift Key publisher here, but once you've actually installed it, you can go and click on the open. Now there's a few steps that you need to do here for you to successfully use Microsoft Swift Key. So first is we need to enable Swift Key. Let's go ahead and click on the enable Swift Key button here. It will redirect us to the virtual keywords that we have available. So currently, I have the following keywords available. I have Gboard, Google Voice Typing, but at the very bottom, you have Microsoft Swift Key Keyboard. Now, the layout itself might be different for you. So depending on your phone, the layout, again, will be uh, kind of different. But in my case, I should be able to see Swift, Microsoft Swift Key Keyboard in here. Let's go ahead and enable this by clicking on the Enable button. And from here, it's going to say input methods may be able to collect all your text you type. Let's go and click on OK. And once you've done that, it's going to say select Swift key. So you need to select Microsoft Swift key keyboard as your default input method. Let's go and click on select quit Swift key. Now from here, you want to choose Microsoft Swift key keyboard here. And from here, just click on try your keyboard. Now in this case, once you've actually uh, clicked on it, you should be able to start using it. So in this case, let's go ahead and exit our mobile uh, device here. So in this case, whenever we go to our search here, we now have our Swift key keyboard. And from here on, you should be able to start using it. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.